Hey, welcome to PC Perspective as we take a look at two new graphics cards from AMD in the Southern Islands family, the Radeon HD 7770 GHz edition and the HD 7750. These are mainstream level graphics cards that will be priced around $159 and $109 respectively. While the feature set offered on this lower cost GPU is identical to that of the HD 7900 series, the performance is obviously lower. Can AMD's follow-up to the wildly successful HD 5770 meet expectations? When AMD first unveiled the HD 7970 and 7950, it was its first completely new architecture in years, and while the company has publicly laid out plans for an entire stack refresh using the Southern Islands design, they are skipping Pitcairn and moving right to the smallest GPU, codenamed Cape Verde. The new Radeon HD 7770 and HD 7750 cards will be available in both reference and custom designs, so you can expect a wide range of options, including the ones we have here from MSI and XFX. Cape Verde is built in the same 28 nanometer process as the Tahiti part found on the Radeon HD 7900 series, though this one only has 1.5 billion transistors. The Radeon HD 7770 uses the full GPU with 10 compute units and 640 total stream processors, running at 1 GHz clock speed. The Radeon HD 7750 runs at 800 MHz and includes 512 stream processors. Both cards have 1 GB of memory running at 1125 MHz and 72 GB per second of bandwidth. AMD has given the title of GHz Edition to the Radeon HD 7770 in an attempt to ratchet up excitement for the card as the first reference board to ship with a clock speed breaking the 1 GHz barrier. To be honest, I don't really appreciate the publicity attempt here as AMD was the very same company that spent years of its existence on the CPU side convincing customers that clock speed didn't matter. We are more interested in the total overall performance of these cards anyway. The reference HD7770 includes the same display output connections as the HD7900 cards with a dual-link DVI, full-size HDMI, and a pair of mini display ports. It is a dual-slot card that requires only a single 6-pin power connection and is capable of running two cards in crossfire mode. The reference 7750, on the other hand, is a very small single-slot card that doesn't require any kind of external power, but also does not support crossfire. The output here replaces the dual mini display ports with a single full-size display port connection. Priced at 159 bucks, the HD7770 goes up against the GTX 560, priced around $180, and the GTX 550Ti, priced around $130 from the NVIDIA camp. In our testing, the HD7770 sat firmly between these two options. In Battlefield 3, the AMD card was 22% behind the GTX 560, but is 20% faster than the GTX 550Ti. Dirt 3 results showed the GTX 560 to be about 35% faster than the HD7770, but the AMD card was about 10% faster than the 550Ti. And on Batman Arkham City, we found the AMD card to only be 5% slower than the 560, but 40% faster than the 550Ti. The second card in our comparison is the HD 7750, priced right over 100 bucks, so we compared it with the GTX 550Ti and the GTS 450 from NVIDIA. We know the 550Ti comes in at about $130, and the GTS 450 actually matches up closely at $109. In general, the 7750 falls between these two NVIDIA options much like the HD 7770 did before. In Battlefield 3, we see the HD 7750 is about 4% slower than the 550Ti, but 12% faster than the GTS 450. In Dirt 3, we see the 7750 taking last place behind both NVIDIA cards. Though in Batman Arkham City, that role is reversed and the HD 7750 leads by 14% or more. To be perfectly honest with you, the performance intricacies with these two new GPUs are more complex than we have time to show you here in our video review, so I would highly recommend you stop by PCPer.com to see the full review with all of our tests and analysis before making your buying decision. The new Cape Verde GPU from AMD is impressive in that it offers performance on the same or nearly the same level as the Radeon HD 6850 and GTX 550 Ti, all while using quite a bit less power. Once the current BART's GPUs run out, we will see the 7700 series on its own in this segment, and I think it will be a very popular GPU, pending NVIDIA's answer with Kepler. 
If you're buying today in this price range, however, I would highly recommend you look for deals on the GTX 560 or even the HD 6870 as prices are dropping all the time. I'm Ryan Trout for PC Perspective. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out PCPer.com for more reviews and information on everything PC hardware.